optional wheel stance kit on you. Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, I am at Ziegler Cat in Wilmer, Minnesota, and I am standing in front of a versatile Delta Track 570 tractor, and they just installed the optional wheel stance kit on here to widen the tractor. So we're gonna talk about it in this video, I'm gonna show you some shots of driving this tractor around and show you what's involved. Available for all versatile Delta Track tractors is this optional wide stance kit. Now this is a dealer installed option that can be ordered through Versatile Service Parts and this kit widens the tractor out approximately 21 inches putting center track to center track at about 10 feet or 3 meters. This kit is a little bit time consuming to involve as you are putting a spacer behind the planetary here so you pretty much have to take the track assembly off the tractor and install this, a longer axle and so forth. Now throughout this video I'm going to take you through some of that process showing you this. Here at Ziegler they recently sold two of these 570 Delta tracks to one farm. This tractor here already has the kit installed and they're working on the other one in the shop as we speak. They got several more tractors sold that they're going to be putting this kit on as well. Now the Versatile Delta Track comes in three different sizes. The Model 520, the 570 you see here, and the 610. Now going forward 2022 and beyond, the model number changes to a 530, a 580, and a 620. Not a lot of changes in the tractor, a little more horsepower, some differences in the hydraulics, transmission valving, a couple things in the cab, and the frame is painted black on the model year 2022s. Decals are also different. Now throughout this video, we're going to drive this tractor around a little bit, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to go in the shop here as they're working on the one and explain the process and what they're doing and show you some of that action. And hopefully everything works out to get back here in a few weeks to see these tractors out in the field in action. Now just a quick overview of these tractors. I know I have a ton of Versatile Delta Track videos on my YouTube channel. These tractors are powered with a Cummins X15 six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. That engine is Tier 4 final. These tractors have a Caterpillar full power shift transmission with 16 forward and 4 reverse speeds. Hydraulic flow up to 109 gallons per minute with 6 remote valves. You can either get these tractors with a 30 inch wide or 36 inch wide track. You can also get an optional PTO or three point hitch on these as well. Now the Versatile 520, 570 and 610 models can also be ordered as a wheeled machine. Versatile also has another smaller line of four-wheel drive tractors starting at 405 horsepower up to 460. Those are powered with a little smaller Cummins engine, a 12 liter, but do offer the CAT power shift transmission as well. Versatile four-wheel drive tractors also offer the largest cab in the industry. This tractor also has the optional tow cable on it. You can see right there at the front of the tractor. Now I've had some people ask me about that. So what this tow cable does, if you would ever happen to get one of these tractors stuck, you do not want to pull a four-wheel drive tractor from the front frame. You want to go clear underneath and hook it right in the articulation joint. So what this tow cable does, if you were stuck with this tractor, the chances of a guy taking a shovel and digging underneath the tractor to hook a chain in the back on the articulation joint is slim to none. So that tow cable goes back to that area. So if you would get one of these stuck, you could back your other tractor up or whatever you're going to pull it out with and just hook it to that tow cable right in the front that way you will be pulling the tractor out from the right location of course most people would just prefer not to get stuck but unfortunately sometimes it does happen
let's take a look in the kit here. So here is one of the spacers. So one spacer per track. As you can see, about 10 and a half inches. So that's going to widen that tractor out a total of 21 inches. This is what comes in the kit here. Your four spacers, your four axles, because it's a longer axle since you're spacing the tractor out and so forth. They got the tractor jacked up, so they're going to start on the front here. So the first thing you got to do is you got to detension the tracks. You're going to have to drain your oil out of your axle and planetaries and so forth, and then tear the track assembly apart. Also, there's several bolts involved in the kit. So here they got the axle shaft pulled out after the planetaries off. There's a look at one of the axles. The spacer is now installed on here. So there is a combination of using an O-ring and some sealing on here as well. And we'll just take a look inside. That is where our actual axle shaft is going to slide and go into the planetary in the center. So now they're going back together here. So we're going to bring this frame assembly over here. Bolt that to the spacer. And let's just have a look at some of the parts here as they tore this track assembly down. So you got your uh, track frame there, your drive wheel. Another look at your planetary and your track. All right, so just get this lined up here with the forklift bolted down and so forth. And then the planetary will be the next step. Once the planetary is up here and in place, then they can slide the axle shaft through, put the planetary gearing back on, and then the planetary cover. And of course, they're torquing all these bolts as they go, but I didn't think anybody wanted to uh, see that in a video as they torque every single bolt. Okay, so now the drive wheel for the track is ready to go on here. So they'll bring that up with the forklift and get that bolted down to the planetary. So if this was a wheeled tractor, you would not have that red frame around there and the actual rim of the tractor would bolt up in the same place here. Now there is a couple differences between the versatile wheeled tractors and the Delta tracks on the frame and so forth and the planetary gearing is different as well. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, hold on right there. And now ready to bolt the track assembly back up. You coming in? Still have the side shift. Crank your wheel like you had a turn. Yep. You coming? Oh. Uh, a second. And they are now ready to sling the track back on here. So they have this nice overhead hoist. There's a couple different ways to remove R&R uh, &R a track on a tractor like this. Some guys will actually use a forklift, spread the forks out, come over top of the drive wheel, and then use a set of uh, rollers underneath the bottom side just to slide it in. But a little push with the forklift right here nicely is also doing the job. Even though they took the track tension off, it's a lot easier if you remove the idler wheels just to give you a little more room to work that track in and uh, get it on the tractor. Yeah, my So the front is basically done, so I'm going to walk behind here. This back track is not done. Just take a peek from behind and show you how much track sticks out. I know this can be somewhat of an illusion, but you kind of get the idea there.
that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully the next video, we get this thing running in the field with this wide stance kit on. The farm that this is going to actually bought two of these. So hopefully it works out. We're just waiting for spring to arrive here. It just rained. It's a little bit wet, but you know, it is April 20th and the weather's got to be changing to get in the field one of these days. So anyways, hit that like button, comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, remember you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.